Calvin. Oh. My baby. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Mm. Yes, baby. Please, can I just sleep for one extra hour? No, you'll be late to school, okay? When you come back from school, you'll have a nap. Mm. But right now, you need to stand up and get ready for school. Good morning. Good morning, my baby. We have to pray. Mm. Mm. Please, can I pray today? Yeah, you can. Father, I love you. Thank you for letting me sleep and wake up in the house. Amen. Mom. Yes, my love. We are having our test today and I'm a bit nervous. Why are you nervous? Maybe because there's a prize we won and I want to win. That's the spirit, my child. You will win the prize. Now say after me. I am not nervous. I am not nervous. I would definitely win the prize. Yes. I will win the prize. That's the spirit and that's the way to go. So first you have to believe in yourself. Put your mind in whatever you desire and you will definitely achieve it, okay? I believe, mommy. I believe. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, my baby. Don't worry, you will win the prize. Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Liz. So what is my agenda for today? Okay. You'll be having a meeting by 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Yes, sir. Alright. You have a meeting for 11 a.m. now. 11 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. And also by 2 p.m. 2 p.m., the meeting with uh, JJ Group of Companies? Yes, sir. Where exactly? Um, at the exquisite restaurant with the investors. Is that all for the day? Yes, ma'am. It's fine. You can go now. Thank you, ma'am. Great. Did you call them to confirm that they are coming? Yes, I did. Good. Okay, then. All right, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's there? Come in. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> My Olga, how far now? You started again. Who is your Olga? Every time I say that, you say the same thing. Maybe when you start to accept that you are really my ogre, then I'll stop saying it. Hmm? Sandra, you're a character. I know, for sure. <laughs> Please, I need you to sign these documents and let me have them once you're done. All right, I'll do that right away and let you know when I'm done. Okay, I'll be in my office. All right, see you. Come in, come in. Hi. Babe. What are you doing in my office by this time of the day? Can't I come and see my boyfriend again? Uh, well, I didn't say that, but for you to be here is obvious you want something. What is it? Tell me. Babe, I don't need anything. I just came to see you. Okay, fine. I need to go for shopping. <laughs> I just knew it. I just knew it. Uh, but why are you telling me? Don't you know the way to the shopping mall? I know, bro. But what? Didn't I give you money last week? Just last week? Babe, I know you did, but the money is finished. Oh, don't you like how I look? I want me to be dressing sexy for you. That's not what I'm saying. All what I'm saying, you can't continue spending money like this. Just last week, I gave you 500,000 Naira. Huh? Babe, I know you did. But you not only buy designers. And I can settle for less when I'm with a man like you. Hmm? Okay, so how much are we talking about? Like 500,000? 500,000? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you know what? I'll give you the money. But please, you need to spend wisely. Because you're not going to see another one anytime soon. Okay? Thank you, babe. I love you. Mm. All is done. I sent it. Thank you, Vivo. You're the best. Thank you. Mm. No. Let me leave you to get back to work. I don't want to stress you. Okay. Thank you, baby. Have a good day. Bye. Have a nice mm -hmm. day. Shopping. Good afternoon. You mean the meeting has been cancelled? I hope there's no problem. Okay, I'll call her to let her know that. Has just called ma yes yes i know i'm on my way ma they, they, they called to oh my phone is off okay. hello hello <sighs> so this business partnership would be very beneficial to both companies the only thing here is that both companies might not agree to what is beneficial to both parties. I'm fully aware of that and that is why we're having this discussion. Listen, look. Here, go through this, please. Um, here. So if you look at it from that point. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what would you like to have? Um, actually, I'll be having a meeting with some people, so I think it would be inappropriate for me to start eating before the arrival. Yeah, I understand now. But you can get me malt. Okay, ma'am. All right. The percentage leverage that each company will benefit from. So we have 25% uh, per company, and uh, that is a total of 75%. So each of our staffs will have benefits as well. All right, could you please open it for me? Okay. Thank you. So, do we have a deal? Sure, we do. <laughs> I can't wait for the money that we're going to make from this business partnership. Trust me, there are lots of money all parties are going to make. We're going to make lots of money. Excuse me. Um, I think That's I have right. to leave. They are not here and I can't wait anymore. So, okay, how much is it? Somewhere around 15 naira, ma'am. All right. You can keep the change. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me, John. Excuse me. Um, I have. Hi. 
Well, my back. name is Babe, and I uh, realized that you love blue. So I bought you this blue jacket. That's you. But actually, you're red. Oh. That's why I got my jacket. So you love to use it, right? Thank you. you Thank you so much. You must welcome. I Thank you. you. Come, let's go. <laughs> I hoped the ground opened and swallowed me. <laughs> Sandra, why are you laughing at me? It's the way you say it. It's so funny, honestly. <laughs> You're not serious. So, you just left like that. What would you rather have me do? <sighs> wow. He's such a gentleman. Yeah, of course he is. Tell me. Tell you what? Rate his looks from 1 to 10. How is that of interest to you? Madam, talk, Joe. Ah. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. No doubt he's good looking. He's gentle. He's, he's cute. An eight. I'll give him an eight. Mero! So, did you get his name or number? I don't understand. Why? I mean, what do I need his name or number for? Everything happens so fast. But you have his jacket, right? Yeah, I do. Well... Maybe you should get it. We might find something in there. Okay. One minute. Let me quickly get it. Yes. Me. Okay. Or something. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. So this is a check, check. Is there something inside? Check what? There's nothing. What's that? What's sticking? Okay, inside? you can check yourself. What are you even looking for, if I may ask? Phone number or something or card. You are not serious. Card for what? Bring it. Let me smell it. Smell what? Let me smell it. From the smell, I'll be able to tell if he's as handsome as you say he was. Sandra, you're not serious. As After you say I'm not interested in relationship, now you're telling me you're not serious. Let me smell the jacket. Don't smell the jacket. <laughs> I don't even know this why you asked me to bring it. Please let me go and keep it. I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm That's yeah, it. right. <laughs> oh, this is my friend. Do not kill me. Yeah, um, I have... Hi. I'll call well, you back. My name is Dave, and I uh, realized that you love blue. So I bought you this blue jacket that you... Well, actually, you're red. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got my jacket, so you love to use it, right? Thank you. you Thank you so much. You must welcome. Thank you. Come, let's go. Concentrate, man. Concentrate. Hope you're enjoying it. So what else do you want after this ride? Cake. You want rice? Would you want rice? Hey, 
Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for helping me out the other day. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> Mommy, is he your boyfriend? Kelvin, no, he's not your mom's boyfriend. He's just someone that helped your mom out some time ago. Okay. okay? How did you help my mom? <laughs> well, let's just say I, I gave her a jacket when she needed it the most. My name is Kelvin. What is yours? Okay, my name is Dave. How are you, Kelvin? I'm thank you. <laughs> and what is your name? Vivian. Vivian. Okay, Vivian and Kelvin, let me leave you two to enjoy your ice cream. All right. All, All right. right. See Thank you some you. other time. Bye. into the car. Wait, 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 wait. I'll help you out. Oh, yeah. Get into the car. That's my boy. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed your meal. Yes, ma'am. You did? Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the problem? What is the meaning of this? Mom. Yes, my love. What is wrong with the car? I don't know what is wrong with the car, my love. I serviced this car last week. Let me check. Oh, God. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Tell me stuff. Okay, let me call you back. I'll, I'll call you back now. Bye bye. Hey, Kelvin. Where is your mom? She needs your help. She needs my help? Yes, your help. Where? Uh, take me to her. Come. When and how did you get out of the car? Oh, my just went to call and wanted to help us with the car. Did you tell me? So why did you do it? Is it right? Now get into the car. But he should have told me. Yeah, you have a point there. So what is wrong with the car? I sincerely cannot tell because I serviced this car last week. Have you called your mechanic? Not yet. Um. Okay, uh, let's do this. I think you should call your mechanic uh, while I let him come and look after the car while I drop you and Kelvin home. I won't let you do that. I, I appreciate your kind gesture, but that's way too much. I know you have important things to do today. Every other important thing can wait as long as it concerns you. Okay, thank you. Let me get my phone and call the mechanic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is the second time you're helping me without knowing me. Well, I guess uh, it's always my duty to do so. No, it's not your duty. You're just a um, nice person who is willing to offer help. <laughs> always. 
<laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, it's on left. Alright. Yeah. Right, rather. Yeah. Okay, so we take this way. Yes. so much. Ah, oh, come on. Don't mention. Thanks, Uncle Dave. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but why don't you come in so I can offer you some refreshment? Uh, I appreciate the gesture, but I have to be somewhere by this time. All right, it's fine. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Great. Uh, can I have your number? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, bye. bye. Oh, hey, little man. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> Uncle Dave is not your boyfriend. My boyfriend? Who thought you that? Movies did and it also says someone also smells like this after seeing their boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> come here, come here. Listen, I'm not smiling because of Uncle Dave and Uncle Dave is not my boyfriend. Okay? Okay. So you will stop watching such movies. You should be seeing only cartoon. Okay? okay. Now go to your room. Okay. Great. Uh, how is Kelvin? He has gone to bed. Oh, okay, that's good. So, um, what does your tomorrow looks like? Nothing really. Why do you ask? I, uh, I, was, I, I was thinking if we should do dinner. That is if it's cool with you. <laughs> Is that a date? I guess so. 
<laughs> but you can actually decline it if you want. It's fine. So what time? Uh, I was looking at um, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Uh, that is if it's fine with you. All right. I think 6 p.m. will be fine by me. Great. Okay, then. I'll be at your house at 6 p.m. on the dot. Okay, good night. Bye. Please have a seat while I go and get Vivian, okay? Okay, thank you. Make man. yourself comfortable. Hi, Uncle Dave. Hey, Calvin. How are you? Fine, thank you. Why are you here? I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we? All right, sure. Baby, so mommy is going out, but we'll be back pretty soon, okay? Take okay. care of yourself. Bye, and Sandra will be here with you. Okay. Love you. My mommy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Bye, darling. Babe. Yes, take care. See you right. soon. Thank you, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Sandra, hmm? why are mommy and Uncle Dave going to? Well, they're going to have dinner. Like a dinner date? Hmm, who taught you that? Look at this little boy. Come, let's go upstairs quickly. So, tell me about yourself. Mm, well, there's nothing really much to know about me. I'm Vivian Peters. I have a cute, adorable son. I run my family's business after my parents' demise. Oh, wow. I'm sorry about that. It's fine. It's been a long time ago. So, what about you? Um, what about me? What about me? Nothing much about me. My name is Dave. Dave Okafor. I'm the CEO of Evolution Tech. Tech? Yeah. Quite impressive. Uh, I'm not married. I mean, there's nothing really important about me. <laughs> <laughs>
really? Seriously, I was so embarrassed. I can understand. It was so bad. Are you serious? Dave, Dave, where is um? Can you please, can you please leave? Hello. I should leave. Yeah. Why? Who are you speaking with? I'm speaking with my client, and I would appreciate if you leave. Are you there? Your clients. And you're so chatty and smiling and laughing. Your clients, really. Lucy, can we talk about this later, please? Oh. Okay. I'll leave. But just so you know, we're not done having this conversation. You're definitely going to tell me who you're speaking with. Hi. Uh, are you still there? Yes, hello. What happened? I... I heard someone's voice, a woman's voice. Who was that? Oh, I... My younger sister. <laughs> oh, really? I'd like to meet her sometime. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You would definitely get to meet her. So tell me, where were we? Mm, you want to know? <laughs> you were telling me a story.
Kelvin. I think she's asleep. Ah, uh, he slept off after insisting on watching this movie. I know, right? <laughs> but still, the, the movie wasn't bad at all. Let me take him to his room. I know. I don't, don't worry, I'll do that. Are you sure? Of course, of course I'll do it. <laughs> okay. All I need you to do is to show me his room, that's all. Okay, the first room on the right. Okay. All right. Go, 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 pick me up. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. All right. Ah, uh, did he wake? No, he... He didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I think I, I... I guess I have to take my leave now. It's fine. Let me see you off. Okay. By the way, though, the meal was delicious. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Good. How does that concern you? When did you start monitoring my calls? <laughs> so, all this is just because I asked who you're calling. Anyways, I hope it's not a woman. Because if it is, just tell her that you have a lady in charge of your heart. So that she can stop deceiving herself. 
What's funny? You in charge of my heart? Am I not? Dave, where are you going to go back here? Explain yourself. Dave! Baby, go check who's there. Hey, Kelvin! Come on, ba, ba, bo. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Is your mommy around? Yes, she is. Who's dead? So, my love, you have to go to your room now, okay? Come. Don't worry, you'll be done shortly. I need to have a private conversation with Uncle Dave, okay? Okay. I love you. Bye. All right, to your room. <laughs> Hi, what's up? How are you? I've been calling you. You refuse to pick my calls. What's going on? Did I do something wrong? Because the last time I checked, everything was fine. I regretted ever doing anything with you. You've gotten what you wanted, right? I don't understand. What don't you understand? No, tell me. What don't you understand? Don't you have a girlfriend? No, I'm asking you. Answer me. Don't you have a girlfriend? Well, if you must know, she came to my office the other day, called me a harlot, and told me she would never allow me to snatch you away from her. Man, why are you like this? Disgusting. If you know what is good for you, walk out of this door and never ever come back to this place again. Because if you do, I'll teach you a lesson. You heard me right. I know you have money, but I will show you the difference between money and connection. Listen. Oh, please spare me that scrappy explanation of yours. I don't want to hear it. Just get out of my house. Leave right away. I don't want to call the police. I said, get out of my house! Leave. Rubbish. Baby! Where's my son? Oh. Baby, you, my darling, come. <laughs> okay, so you can watch your movie now. Right now, mommy's gonna be watching the movie with you. Hope you're happy. Yes. Lucy! 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 What is it? Why are you shouting my name like that? Why did you go to Vivian's office to harass her? Ugh. Harass her? Is that what she told you? That small one, harassment. <laughs> then she should better stay off you. If not, it's not what. No, tell me, what would you do? You know what, Lucy? You see this thing between us? Huh? It's over. Pack your things, leave my house this minute. <laughs> You're joking, right? You can't possibly end a four year relationship all because of that whore. Will you just stop it? Don't you ever in your entire life call her that? Don't! Okay, I'm sorry. It's because I love you. But then you don't even expect me to let her come take away my boyfriend from me. Never. I won't let that happen. People, I'm sorry. So, you think what I just told you that this relationship is over? I'm joking, right? You think so? And listen, we don't have a relationship. You, you, you don't love me. You never loved me in the first place. All you care about. It's money. That's all. Money, I, money, money. But I do. I love you, babe. I do. Mom, see, let's stop lying to ourselves. Huh? For me, this relationship ended long ago. Hmm? The best we can do now is put an end to it. Right here and right now. Never. I'm never going to let her take you away from me. That won't happen. Never. Well, she already has. Because I have fallen deeply in love with her. I would suggest, or I would say, pack your things, leave my house, and don't ever come back. Because if I get back here and see you here, I just might do the unthinkable. You won't like it. The <laughs> Lastly, stay far, very far from Vivian. Hear me? 
Vivian, I've been calling you. Thank God you decided to call me back. Vivian, I apologize. I apologize I didn't tell you about her. Uncle Dave, it's not my mom. It's me. Calvin? <laughs> Calvin! <laughs> How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Does your mother know that you're calling me with her phone? No, she doesn't. I've asked her a number of times about you, but she wouldn't say anything. Are you a mom fighting? Um, let me just say, we're having a little misunderstanding and very soon things will work out. Okay. Now listen to me, Kelvin. Next time, do not use your mother's phone without her permission, okay? Okay, I won't. Good night. Kelvin, what are you doing with my phone? Let me have it. What is good? Who did you? Jesus, you called Dave with my phone. Kelvin, I'm asking you, did you call Dave with my phone? Yes. Why would you do a thing like that? Who asked you to call him? I think I'm giving you too much leverage in this house. You know what? For the next one week, you're not going to watch television. You'll be in that room and never come to the same room. Mommy, I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now go to your room. Fast! I don't want to see you anywhere close to my phone again. Did I make myself clear? To your room right away. I know, I know so you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love. Who 
dropped this nonsense here. <sighs> Hello, Ada. Come to my office right away. I'm sorry, ma. It was delivered this morning, ma. And was addressed to you, so I decided to drop it here. Is, it, is that part of your job? When did you start receiving gifts on my behalf? I'm sorry, ma. I thought it, it was someone you, you knew. You thought? Yes. You thought? You couldn't even put a call across to confirm from me before receiving anything from anyone. This should be the last time you will ever try it. If you do it again, I promise you will lose your job. Take this out of my life. Tell them to get me a glass of coffee. Okay, ma. I know, I know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love. Sandra, come in. Why would you be lonely? Excuse me, what is it? I'm asking you, Dave, what are you doing in my house? If you know what is good for you, leave my house right now, else I'll call the police. I don't care. If you want to call the police, call them. But I'm not leaving this house until I explain things to you. <laughs> yes. I know I, I was in a romantic relationship before and after I met you. I'm very sorry I, I didn't officially call it off before starting another one with you. But the relationship I had with Lucy was nothing based on love. No love. I never loved her. Are you done? Vivian, I know you may think the worst of me right now. But there is one thing I know. That is the deep love I have for you. I really love you. Oh, please, save that sermon and, and say it to your next victim. I don't want to hear. I don't want to talk too much. Leave my house. I said leave my house. Don't come an inch close to me. Leave my house right now. I said leave. Leave. Hi, Hey, Kelvin. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, darling, you have to go back to your room. Mom, what am I doing? Staying with Uncle Dave. Shh, Dave. You have to go back to your room right away. I'm not going anywhere. I said go back to your room! You stupid. How dare you tell me you're not going anywhere? Now, look at what you've made me do. Shout for my son who has done absolutely nothing. Leave my house right now! I said leave! I don't want to be violent. Leave! Be fast about it, please. <laughs> to hell with your explanation. Rubbish. I know, I know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know wow. you want some love. My love, I know you're mad at your mom. But you should know I love you so much. If you had left the steam room when I asked you to, I wouldn't have shouted at you. But all the same, mommy is sorry. You know mommy loves you so much. Okay? Talk to mommy. Please, I'm sorry. Kelvin, I said I'm sorry. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, please, baby. Talk to me now. Please. Why can't we see him again? There are some things I can't explain in details, but all I want you to know is that I want the best for us, and that's what I'm doing. But you love him. Yes, Mom, I know you love him, and I love him too, and I want him to be my dad. Listen, my son. Things in life don't work that way, okay?
Even if I forgive him, he can't play the father's role in your life. I just want some gift to be my dad. But he's not your dad. But I want my angel. Leave me alone. You don't have to be mean to your mom. You know mommy loves you so much. Please. Please, baby. Hmm? Please. Hmm. Sandra, I really felt bad when she said that to me. I know how you felt. I really understand. But if you ask me, I would say you should give the relationship another shot. Not just because it's what your son wants, but because I know it's what your heart wants as well. It's still not guaranteed that he won't wake up one day and break my heart or opt out or probably even hurt us. Yes. You don't know that. Besides, you also have secrets that you haven't told him about. And that's why I feel this won't work. If I tell him that, he might not be interested in me again. So it's better we end it right now, once and for all. Don't say that. At least tell him first. No, there's nothing to talk to Dave about. I'm done, I'm done. My son will be fine. He will get over it. I won't tell him anything. Fine, if you say so. Yeah, I said so. My baby. Jesus. Baby. Hold on. Oh. Mom. Yes, baby. Please, can I see Uncle Dave? You will. But you have to get well first, okay? Okay, mommy. You know mommy loves you so much. Okay, mommy. Just get well soon for me, okay? Yes. I know, I know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love. If only you open your heart and let me in. I'm right here for you, okay? Okay. Mommy told me you were sick, but you'll be fine. Okay. Let me in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, take away your loneliness. Baby, just give me a chance. Baby, give me a chance. You should sleep now. Yeah. Thank you. No. Thank you so much for coming within a such short notice. I really appreciate You're welcome. Anything for Kelvin. Thank you once more. Yeah. Okay. I think I have to take my leave. All right. Bye. Thank you once more. Just make this work, please. It's not as easy as it sounds. Why? The truth is, it can't work between you and I. Why? Why, Vivian? I know I messed up. I know I didn't tell you about my relationship with Lucy. But it was nothing serious. I never loved her. It is you that I love. And I know you feel the same way for me. Can we just make this work? 
There's something about me that no I feel... No matter what it is, it doesn't matter because I love you. Please. I'm not doubting my love for you or your love for me. But love is not enough. It still won't work. I would appreciate if you can take your leave now. I'll leave. But trust me. I will not give up on this relationship. I won't give up on us. If only open your heart and let me in. Open your heart and let me in. I know, I know you've gone through a lot of bad times. I know, I know, baby, come and let me love you. If only you... You know, instead of just staying here and crying, you can go and talk to him, right? What's the point? When he finds out everything about me, he would definitely leave me. So what's the point? So why are you crying? I don't know. I think you do. I think you love him and actually want to work things out with him. Maybe. Maybe. Then go and talk to him. I can't do that. Then go and talk to him. Follow your heart for once. I can't. I don't know why you're being stubborn about this. You're hurting yourself. My friend recently told me to follow my heart, and that's why I'm here. I love you, Dave. I love you too, so much. Um, there's something I want to tell you. Honestly, nothing else is important right now as long as we love each other. That's all that's mattered for me. No, I have to, you know, but... Come, please, don't spoil this mood for us. I missed you so much. I love you, come I love you too. Oh. Missed you so much. Missed you too.
Okay, guys. My welcome to my home. Thank you. Yep. My house is beautiful. You should wait until you see inside. Uh, <laughs> your house is beautiful. Thank you. Come, follow me. Here. Yeah. Great. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I missed you. Come on, let's go. Go. One, two, three, four. Ah, almost. Let's go. One, two, three. Go. Okay, it's your turn. Let's go. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> Let's go, my time. Shake your body, shake your body. Shake, 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 Ah, <laughs> give me some breeze. Come to me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Kelvin has slept off. He had loads of fun today. Yeah, yeah, you have a handsome little young man right here. I know, just like his mother, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What about his father? You've never taught me anything about his father. Ah, uh, um, he's dead. He's dead? Yes. Wow. Sorry about your loss. Okay. Thank you. So tell me, was he your husband, your boyfriend, or your fiancé? Boyfriend. I think I should just take him to his room. No, so no, no, can... no, 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 don't worry, I'll do that, okay? I'll sure? Do it. Yeah, sure. Do it. All right. Thank you. I know, I know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love If only you open your heart and let me in. Open your heart and let me in. I know, I know you've gone through a lot of bad times. I know, I know. Chunked him to sleep. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can. I, I noticed a mark on Calvin's back. What is it? Birthmark. He was born with it. Ready? Yeah. Um, why? Any problem? No, no, not really. Uh, I'm just curious, that's all. Okay, it's a birthmark he was born with it. Yeah. Okay, uh, um, right. thanks, babe. I'm walking. Mm -hmm. Big, okay? Alright, you too. I know, okay. I Bye. know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love. If only you open your heart and let me in. Open your heart and let me in. I know, I know you 
Come in, come in. I know, I know, baby, come and let me love you. If only you Sir. Yeah, Liz. They just came in for you. Where did they come from? From the hospital. The hospital? Yes, sir. Give it to me. You can leave. Okay. Hello? Zizian, where are you? Hello? We're just leaving the restaurant. Kelvin and I. I need to see you. I need to talk to you. Oh, really? Kelvin, get into the car. Are you serious? No, no, it's not something I can talk on the phone. I need to talk to you. Where are you? Okay, you mean it's not something we can... Uh, where is... Kelvin! What happened to you? I don't know. Kelvin is all I've got. If anything happens to him, I'll definitely not survive it. Oh, I don't so know. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing will happen to him. Okay, come. Come, come, come. Come, come. Relax yourself. Okay? Nothing will happen to him. We're not going to lose him. Amen. We're not going to lose him, okay? Amen. How is the little boy? You know him too? Yeah, I do. He's my son. Oh. The little boy loves a lot of blood. So you'll be needing blood transfusion immediately. It's fine. Take mine. You take mine as well. Wow. In that case, you tell me to come with me. Alright, doctor, please. I do not want to lose my son. He's all I've got. Please. Please. <laughs> Dave, thank you so, so much for giving my son your blood. You don't have to thank me. He's my son. I appreciate you for really accepting him as your son. Thank you once more. I've accepted him because he is my son. How do you mean? I don't know. But Kelvin is my child. Your child? I know, I know you're single and you're lonely. I know, I know you want some love If only you open your heart Let me
Doctor, is it possible for a little boy and I to have the same birthmark at the identical spot? And he's not my child? Well, um, that I can't say. It could just be a coincidence. No, it can't be. This birthmark is in my family. Maybe the boy's father is one of your siblings. I don't think so. Because the last time I checked, I am the only child of my parents. My father has only one sister, and she gave birth to two girls. And uh, you insisted you and the boy's mother never had an intercourse? No, never. We just met a few months ago. I've never seen her before. Mm, this is strange. I'm suggesting a DNA test to clear out all the data. A DNA test? Yeah. How do I go about it? <clears throat> because I really don't want his mother to be aware of anything. Well, that's simple. The hair or the saliva we do, you don't need to bring the boy down here. Okay. I took his hair sample and went for a DNA test. And it came out positive. just met months ago and I know we've not had an encounter so how can we have a child or uh, is he not your son Kelvin is my child so how come we have a child together and we don't know each other Years ago, before I had Kelvin, my womb was removed. And this is what I've been hiding from you. And that was the reason I said this can work between you and I. Because I knew you weren't going to find it funny. Why? What, what happened? So, doctor, what does the result say? Well, with the test carried out, I think it's time for your fibro to be removed. I thought you said we could wait a little longer. Yes, but we can't wait anymore. With your constant severe bleeding and even bleeding when not in a period, I think it's right for us to do this surgery. The test also shows that you need to stop bleeding so that it won't lead to complications or even death. God forbid. So when do you think we should have this surgery? As soon as possible. Doctor, what about the complication that comes with the surgery? You don't need to worry about that. We will make sure that the surgery is so successful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> How do I tell Vivian she lost her womb? Doctor, it's not your fault. The bleeding was too much. She would have died if you didn't do what you did. But that was not the plan before the operation. Well, I'm happy she survived. After my womb was removed, I 
that time my parents had died. I had no one. I was devastated. I had money, but I wasn't happy. So a friend of mine by name Sandra, the one you know, made a suggestion. Stop all this crying already. It's been over a month. But it still feels like yesterday. It feels like it just happened yesterday. I know how you feel. But I still hope you can still carry a child of your own. Yes, but I can carry it. And that's the problem. You don't have to carry a child. What's important is that you have one that calls you mother. But the doctor said the procedure is not 100% guaranteed. Yes, I know. But I heard about a woman online who had the same problem that you do. And she carried a child of her own. She did IVF. That's um, artificial insemination. Sandra, you and I know I can't do IVF. <laughs> but you can still get a surrogate who will have your egg and a man's sperm and carry the child for you. <sighs> Sandra, the egg is the problem here. But remember the doctor told us that even without a womb, you can still produce eggs. He also said it's not guaranteed. I know all that. Yes, he said it's not guaranteed and it might not be strong enough to make a baby. How do I do this? What am I going to Just do? Just calm down, calm down. I heard about a very good clinic. I hear they are the best in town. We can always go there and make inquiries about this. God. I even hear that they help people who don't have partners, you know, by providing sperm for them. Don't give up. Please. So we went to a fertility clinic. Apparently when we got there, they told us it could work. I had to try it out. Unfortunately, I didn't have any man that could do the procedure with me, so I opted in for a spam. I was given a booklet to select the features I want in my man, my child, which I did, and insemination was carried out. We tried it five times before it could work. For some weird reason, I kept on choosing the same sperm. And before the fifth time, I was told I couldn't use it again if it didn't work because as at that time, that was the last sperm left. As God may have it, we tried the procedure again. It worked. The surrogate became pregnant. And that was exactly how I had my child, Kelvin. Wait, is the name of the fertility clinic Hyde's Fertility Center? Yes. That's it. How did you know? Are you the owner of the spam? Why would you sell your spam? Were you not comfortable? I thought you were rich. I was another time. I was in pressing need for catch. I needed to save my mother's life. I heard about this through a friend who had done it before. I was very skeptical. I didn't want to do it. But the money was more important. Sadly, I couldn't save my mother's life. She died during the operation. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so, so sorry. So... Uh, 
You are Kelvin's biological father. I know, I know the single angel. Doctor, how is he? He's stable and out of danger now. Oh, thank God. So, can we see him right away? Sure. Though he's sleeping. He's awake. Oh, baby. My baby, so sorry. So, so sorry. Okay, you'll be alright. Okay. Mommy and Daddy are here for you. Okay. Your son. We're here for you. You'll be fine. Okay. Oh, thank God. Sorry, okay. okay. Where is my baby? Your mother is back. Where's Kelvin? Your mom is back. If only you open your heart and let me in. We are waiting for you in my bedroom. We. we. If only you open your heart and let me in. Calvin. Ah. Oops. Not here. We're in your bedroom waiting for you. So much happiness, I'll take away your loneliness. Loneliness. Baby, give me a chance. Mommy, say yes! Please. Yes. <laughs> we are one big family. Yes, yes we, we are! are. <laughs> Chatting and smiling and laughing, your clients, really.
Stefano. Every time I say that, you say the same thing. Maybe when you start to accept that you are really my older, then I'll stop saying it. Thank you.